Aha! The spell is working! Well hello there everyone. I bet you're really confused right now. A lot of you are probably wondering what the hell is this? This isn't EHW we've been waiting for a while. Well basically, in a nutshell, in case you're wondering where that is, well, I'm taking a break for that for the minute as I'm getting stressed out and it's probably better for my health if I don't push myself with that. So, you're probably wondering what this is. This is Wizard 101. It's a game I used to play when I was a kid. It's up to its 10th anniversary, nearly the 11th now. Basically, I wanted to see if this would work well on the channel, so I decided to give it a go. See if you guys would enjoy it. If not, then it won't last, obviously. So basically what this is, is an MMO game set in a world full of magic. As you can see right here, this is the Headmaster Ambrose, basically a ripoff of Dumbledore, and this is his pet owl, Gamma. Basically this game can be divided up into schools, several different schools like Fire, Ice, Life, Myth, Balance, Storm, and Death. You learn different spells and stuff. Let's try to see if this will work. Look, Gamma. Finally, we have found one. Oh! A young wizard. A student with amazing potential. Enough, perhaps, to save Wizard City. Oh, really? Where? Oh, a very, very distant realm. Oh, my goodness. On a world that does not even believe in magic. I wonder what manner of wizard they might become. Perhaps we should consult the Book of Secrets. Headmaster Ambrose turns to regard you intently. Answer these questions to find out what type of wizard you are. Yeah, so basically you can do this test that basically asks you what your favourite, like, plague or something like that is, whatever. Like, gemstone, stuff like that. What type of person you are, but you can skip the test and join one of these type of schools. I've asked several of my friends, they have no idea why I asked this question, of what school they wanted me to join. They don't know what the question entailed, but I just gave them answers that corresponded with these. And they chose Myth. Myth wizards are usually visionary, serious, competitive, and knowledgeable. Famous Kurangers include Sorcery, Baba Yaga, I'm not even going to try and pronounce any of these. Myth wizards are fight, fight often fight alone, summoning minions to aid them in battle. Basically, different schools mean different things. So, Storm could mean all this. So, basically, they chose Myth. If Myth doesn't work out, I can go back after the first episode, see how this episode does, and I'll just quickly swap out to a different school, depending on what you want. Okay, so let's get this going. Oh, my vision is failing me. Are you a boy or a girl? Excuse me, sir. I rep I'm sexually oriented to a horse. But I'm a boy. Jesus. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad. Yeah, so basically you can create your character, stuff like that. But now that we know what you are, what do you look like? Uh... You can change your hairstyle. Let's see what type of hairstyles we got here. Uh, guess that'll do. Maybe. Tempting. Yeah, I guess that'll do. You can change your facial expressions, stuff like that. Uh, guess that'll do. 
and I am the most palest person you've ever seen in your life, so that's probably closest to me. Good, good. Now, what do you wear? Well, considering I'm a myth, I guess I should probably go blue and yellow. Oh, there it is. There we go. It's that colour for that one. Actually, I prefer that type of blue. Or was that purple? I can't tell. Go this way. Oh yeah, that was probably purple. Oops. And there we go. There I am. All right then. What is your name? You can choose your name. There's loads of weird names in here. So if I go up. Probably should have gone the other way. Because my name is in here. My... Okay. Well, it's spelt wrong, but, you know. Uh, Raven... Uh, up thing. Um, mm. right, let me just go to... Yeah, that would be a cool name. Mitchell Raven Thief. Maybe. Or Raven Fawn. That's actually that's better. Yeah, so as you can see here, I did already create a character that I've been playing recently. That's my death one. So if you wanted me to do death, and I'll show you what I've done with death, I will. But we're doing the myth one at the moment. So let's start this. Well, hello, if it isn't our newest student. Right, so there is a tutorial. I'm going to play it so you can un kind of understand the storyline a little bit. My name is Merle Ambrose. I am the headmaster of the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts. We're expecting great things from you, but first things first. To move around, use the arrow keys. My owl friend would like to speak with you. Walk up to Gamma and follow his instructions to talk. Hello! My name is Gamma the Owl, and I am quite pleased to meet you. Wizards test their skills by summoning fantastic creatures. And there we and go, that's dueling. a little bit of unprofessionalism. I forgot to turn my phone on for silent. Muted. To become a master wizard, you must learn every spell in your class. Wizards love to duel. The more spells you learn, the better a duelist you'll become. So here comes the story element to it. Come along, young wizard. Let's investigate the matter. Meet me in the tower. You'd best follow the headmaster. You're safe with him. To the tower! Who's there? Malister. Ambrose. You are no longer welcome here. Why have you returned? I'm here to resolve our unfinished business. Is this your latest student? My henchman will see to your little friend. Hurry along, young wizard. Take this deck of spell cards and deal with those creatures while I tend to Malister himself. Don't be so sure of yourself, old man. Run up and confront them. Be brave. I will guide you. You've drawn these spells from your deck. Quickly, 
You must choose a spell and use it to attack one of Malastare's henchmen by clicking on him. Yeah, so basically you get in multiple different like element like corresponding to your school. So since it's a myth, I'll go with this one first. And... to pay attention to your current health. This red crystal ball shows your health. If you run out of health in a wizard duel, you'll be defeated. Yep. The blue yep. crystal ball shows how much mana you have left. Your mana is magical energy. If you run out of mana, you won't be able to cast any more spells. When you're out of mana, you'll be at the mercy why so distracted? We're under attack. Oh my, call me a fool. I had all but forgotten. Where were we then? Oh, right. Attack his henchman again. And there's a fire cat spell, so let's do that. As you can tell, the headmaster's a little bit of an idiot. trouble. Quickly, use the unicorn spill and cast it on yourself. It will replenish your health. So as you can tell, I'm losing a bit of health, so I'm going to have to heal myself now. you have, the stronger the spells you can cast. Quickly now, pick another spell and cast it at one of them. Oh my, that spell reduced the power of your own spell. Fools are in your keep. Now, finish the child. Cast this Balance Blade spell on yourself. It will increase your next spell's power. This one learns fast, Malister. Two can play at that game. I've got it. Use this meteor strike spell. It will strike both of the henchmen. Here are the pips to cast it with. With the balance blade spell you've already cast, the meteor strike spell should finish them off. Cast it now. So obviously this is clearly scripted, 
so you can you can win, but still gives you a little bit of a preview of what you can get. Yes, yeah, so there were ninja pigs. There was ninja pigs, yes, you didn't see that wrong. Give me a moment. Load in and then load back in. Load out. Oh, excellent there work, we young wizard. Now, let me see to Malister. I'll show him. Threatening a new student before orientation, no less. Another time, old man. I have what I came for. And now I'll take my leave of this wretched place. He's gone, and none too soon. What sinister goal brought him here? Hmm. Oh my, you look a bit the worse for wear. Hmm. Here, let me restore you to your full health and manner. On the bright side, congratulations. Defeating Malastare's henchmen has earned you some experience. This experience bar will help you track your progress. When the bar fills up, you'll gain a level and be able to learn new spells. Now, do you have any questions, young wizard? What's that? You don't know how to speak. It's basically oh, teaching how to my speak. Pardon. Well then, let me teach you how to use menu chat, and we'll see what you have to say for yourself. This is the menu chat button. Click on it to say something. Oh, I don't know, um... Ah, you have the way of it. Now you can chat with anyone you meet and make lots of friends here. And I'm not going to do that. You can also hit enter and type your own messages using text chat. But players under 13 will first need their parents' permission. You'll also need a spellbook and a wand. There you go. No young wizard should ever be without them. See, got a wand now. I should say, young wizard, that I was quite impressed with your courage. There's little doubt, but that a great destiny awaits you. Well, who knows? Maybe you'll fill my shoes and become headmaster someday. But now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mountain of duties to attend to right now, including readying your enrollment. So if you don't mind waiting for a moment or two, I'll pop back to my office and straighten up. I'll summon you when things are presentable. Ah, oh, so many books and papers to tidy up. Uh, where did I put those forms? You will see. Oh, yeah. So basically that was the tutorial, I'll probably end shortly. So basically you load in here, this is the headmaster's office. Just going to talk to him quickly. Welcome to Wizard City, young wizard. Things here are not normally this hectic. There's a problem on Unicorn Way that absolutely must be dealt with before we can get you enrolled. I have an idea. Perhaps, uh, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, you might take a look. You may be able to help. It will also let you see more of Wizard City. The Headmaster hands you a letter with an ornate wax seal. Please deliver this letter to Private Stilson at the Unicorn Way Gate. He will let you through. You can use the yellow quest helper arrow at the bottom of your screen to guide you there. Yeah, so basically you just go around. Doing quests and stuff. This is probably gonna lag me like anything. You have just been given a tutorial tip. These will occasionally appear on the right hand side of your screen. These are portraits that give you timely information when you click on them. 
basically this is one of if not the most hanged out like everyone hangs out here in this like the most common area of, it's actually called the commons because of that and it makes the game super laggy because of how many people are here it's kind of a kind of a problem in my opinion i think they need to fix that but after you finish wizard city you go to def multiple different worlds i'll explain them in the future but for example there's a place that's based on victorian london called marleybone and everyone's dogs yep none shall pass unicorn way is off limits there are ghosts everywhere you show private stilson a letter with headmaster ambrose's wax seal looks legit i'll let you pass show this to private conley in unicorn way right now we can go to unicorn way <laughs> Well, I think, though, this is probably a good place to end it. Actually, I'll talk to this guy real quick, and then I'll end it. Ha! A letter from the headmaster! You're very brave to bring this to me. Be careful going farther down Unicorn Way. The street is dangerous. I've seen wizards like you go down that way and never come back. Beware! Your arrival is a blessing. We need help fending off the ghosts in Unicorn Way. Some dark forces have risen, and we don't have enough guards to stop them. We would be honored if you would use your powers and chase lost souls away for us. Okay, I've leveled up. Okay, I think that will do it for now. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe I might see you in the future. Depending on how this video does, I might end up deleting this video, you never know. But if it does well, then we'll continue it. And let me know if you want me to continue as a death wi- or as a, sorry, a myth wizard, or whatever. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.